guys, it's Storm back here with another video, and uh, this episode of SAO was, was pretty crazy, especially that ending. Now, it mainly took place in the real world and not in the underworld, but it was still pretty good, I can't lie. And that ending, though, that ending was like, holy shit, dude. But without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this SAO Alicization War of Underworld uh, episode 21 review. So basically, like I said, this episode uh, mostly takes place in the real world. Uh, and it uh, starts off where the last one left off in the real world anyway. With the scientists basically going like, oh shit, you gotta get out of there or else you're gonna spend 200 years there. And Asuna is like, I can't, I'm staying with Kirito, and that's it, they, they get stuck in the underworld, dude. And then this timer starts to go off, and it's, uh, uh, I'm guessing it's like 10 minutes or something like that, because throughout the episode, they say that uh, some time has passed, like at one point, the female scientist says that like 10 years has passed, in the underworld anyway. And you're just thinking, like, what has Kirito and Asuna gone through? Like, what are they doing, or what have they done? But then it shows the enemies who are trying to get uh, Alice, and, like, just, that are being a bunch of dickheads. And we find out that Gabriel and uh, Visago are both dead. And we get this really creepy-ass scene with Gabriel who he thinks he's returned to his body and he thinks everything is fine but he's like sort of a ghost right now and out of nowhere the this girl that uh he killed like ate her soul basically when he was a kid it showed a flashback in a previous episode like she appears out of nowhere and is like come spend the rest of eternity with me and she basically like drags him down into this like dark liquid and basically I'm guessing she kind of dragged him to hell and that scene was like freaky as hell bro I would hate to be Gabriel in that scene I would definitely not want to be him there but anyways the enemies find out that their boss and Visago are basically dead and they're like what do we do now and so one of the one of the guys uh, asks the enemy's computer dude like you got a plan if so let's do it and the computer guy is kind of hesitant, but, and, like, when he's threatened, he says that they can, like, place a bomb in the main core, and that's what they do. And all while this is going on, Mr. Kiga and Higa, I'm thinking Kiga's his name, uh, fuck, I forgot, and, like, uh, uh, the boss guy with the glasses, yeah, him, uh, him and, uh, Higa are still in the elevator, and that's when the enemies try and, like, attack them, but... Uh, Mr. Mr. Kika, hopefully that's his name, otherwise <laughs> I'm going to sound kind of retarded. Uh, they get attacked by the enemies, but luckily, uh, Boss's Glasses guy pulls through and he kills uh, one of the enemies that are attacking him, but all the while he gets shot too. But back with the female scientist, uh, one of the security guards, or yeah, one of the security dudes that are with them, uh, they realize what's going on, and he goes down to the main core to try and stop them. And also, Mr. Kika, or Boss Glasses guy, uh, goes down there as well to help, but he's pretty injured. He took a bullet to, to the vest. Like, I mean, if you get shot and you're wearing body armor like the vest, I mean, it's probably still gonna hurt like hell. Anyways, they go down to the main core to try and disarm the bomb, but uh, one of the enemies stayed behind while the others left, like defend the bomb I guess so that it can still explode and they can't really get close as the security guard guy gets shot and they're kind of pinned down that's when out of nowhere uh, the machine known as Ichimon appears and it turns out that it's fucking Aki Hikokai about like this came out of nowhere I was like the fuck where, where did this dude come in I was like didn't he die back in the fairy dance arc I mean, like, it was like ah, bro, it's just kind of speeches. I was like, where the fuck did he come from? And Akihiko Kaiba kind of comes through, bro. Like, he gets he gets super damaged, but he manages to disarm the bomb. The enemy gets killed, and uh, Ichimon or Akihiko Kaiba kind of 
kind of gets destroyed or like powered off and not really working anymore. I guess I guess each mon kind of dies. But while they're leaving in like through a submarine, I think the enemies realize that one of the bodies is missing. And when like the good guys and all the scientists look on the screen, they find out that Ichimon or Akihiko Kaiba's mind, who is like he's basically in Ichimon, it, it's gone. So you're like wondering like who, who the hell took him? But after all that craziness in the real world. The final scene of this episode is Kirito and Asuna in the underworld, and uh, they've both accepted that they're gonna spend 200 years together in the underworld, which is like, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't actually think they would get stuck, but I can't believe they did. And hopefully, the next episode shows like uh, what they have accomplished or what they do and how they live their lives in the underworld throughout those 200 years, because I don't. I don't think they're gonna die because they're they're little gods. I mean, Kirito basically has god mode and has god powers, and Austin is literally using the avatar of a goddess. So they're probably gonna stay and look the same throughout those 200 years. So it'll be really cool if the next episode shows uh, like a progression throughout those 200 years. That that would be really cool. But overall, I gotta say it was a really good episode, and I cannot wait for the next one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go subscribe to other channels. The links will be down in the description below. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.